Hey guys, Chris here, aka Brickinit, and welcome to a review of the LEGO Yoda's lightsaber. If you're new to the channel and like watching awesome LEGO videos, then how about subscribe, because I pretty much do one of these every single day. But, let's get on to this one. Now, this is a weird choice, because it's actually a gift with purchase when you bought Moss Eisley Cantina. But, it's a bit of a strange one, because it's VIP only, and these sold out really, really quickly. Now, through other people in the community, I've had a look, apparently someone rang up, customer services and asked whether we're getting these again. Apparently they are going to be making these again. We don't know whether it's for Mos Eisley Cantina or not. We don't know whether it's for another purchase something maybe like Baby Yoda in the future or not. But I think these are going to be a kind of a line that we're going to be getting with lots of lightsabers in the future. So let's get on to the review of this one anyway. This is the box that it comes in which is really really odd and has this really long set number detail here which is set 6346098, ridiculous set number, but it has 140 pieces and it comes in this really weird Lego box. Now to me, this shows kind of, that this was a kind of a rushed job in my opinion. It came in an actual bag like this, which is actually a zip tight bag, not one of the normal clip ones. So it just shows that they almost like maybe even manually picked this and actually put the pieces in with people doing it on the line, which might, might not have as many as they should have, but it's really weird. This bit at the front is actually the instruction manual. You can see there, there is a lip. And what you do is you cut it open, it was in a zip tight bag, and then you just slot the actual instructions out like so. Really, really strange that they had the instructions like that. And then it's just a simple instruction booklet just going through the set, nothing too amazing. So here is the set itself, and it is pretty cool, and it is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So this actually looks like it's actually life size to Yoda, because Yoda obviously has a smaller lightsaber. So let's remove the saber itself and just look at the stand first. This is the piece that everyone's going to be wanting, and this is the one that's going to make it very expensive on Bricklink and stuff, because that is a print, and it looks very much like the helmet ones. I don't have a helmet one to show you in comparison, but it is the same size, and it says Yoda's lightsaber on there as well. Really, really cool with the Lego Star Wars. Other than that, it's just a brick-built kind of display stand. Very, very nice, and the lightsaber just plops on like so, and you can have it displayed. But... Taking a look, it looks very much like Anakin's lightsaber, a smaller version. It is how Yoda's lightsaber does look for all the canon stuff we've had before from Hasbro with the Black Series and stuff. But there you go. As you can see, it's just all nicely built, all rounded tiles. Got some stud details here. The actual clip here has got like a, a blue bit, which is probably the most horrible bit with the connect pin. And sadly, you don't have any like green lightsaber pieces that they could make to actually turn it on. It's just the display hilt but it is really really cool and i do like this a lot more than i thought i was gonna because i thought it's gonna be a lot smaller when i looked on the box and saw that that was a stud piece i thought hmm this is quite small but as you can see it is actually probably the life size for what yoda would actually hold in his hand so pretty cool again it does have a nice display aspect to it so you can have it on display next to your helmets if you want to and i'm sure that this is going to be a series that we will be getting in the future, like maybe with Anakin's, Return of the Jedi, Luke's, Obi-Wan Kenobi's. So I think that's why this one might be a more desirable one to be getting because this one's probably gonna be one that you're only gonna get as a gift with purchase. But hopefully we may see it in the future that you can buy it. I mean, we have done that with Obi-Wan, the actual poly bag has come on sale recently, which was actually a free gift with purchase last year. So potentially it may come on the store at some point as well. And I think with the demand of these and the negative feedback that LEGO have been getting that these were sold out already within the first couple of hours of Cantina being available, I think that they're going to be doing this one very soon and getting it out on shelves to people. But let me know in the comments down below if you want to be getting this or whether you actually managed to get this with the Moss size of the Cantina. Um, I think it's an awesome little set and if you can get your hands on it, I definitely would, but I would not be buying it for the ridiculous £100 eBay prices. I don't think it's worth that and you will be able to get it at some point in the future according to LEGO. So. Other than that, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe because it really does help out the channel and have an absolute awesome day. If you enjoyed the vid, then if you haven't already, please like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. And as always, keep bricking it.